Yo, what is good guys, it's Cryptic TMG and I'm back with a brand new video. This time we're going to be talking about wheel settings for a set of course of competizione and some of the struggles that I had at first when I first got on the game and I just, I just didn't like the way the game sort of, you know, I didn't like the, the nuance of how you used to steer the cars, it just felt really, really lazy to me and even to this day I, I ended up playing with wheel settings again and again and again and being in an SRO um, AM competition where we're trying to qualify for the, uh, the AM event and looking on board some of the faster guys I can just see by their steering angles and their, the way they turn the wheel I can tell they're not on 900 degrees no way and um, I've been fiddling with the settings and I feel like I've found the nuance of how to get the best feeling for your car and what I will say is you know wheel settings tend to be different for everybody but for me so far um, I never did sort of like the 900 degrees in this game it felt a little bit weird always like it just had too much understeer and I just couldn't get used to it man yeah. to me 900 degrees in every other game felt pretty normal but on ACC it just felt like it was just too lazy so um, I managed to sort of find settings that I really like and uh, it's a little bit weird so stick with me and I hope this does work for you guys as well um, I've been fine ever since and I would say I'll probably figure this out maybe maybe a month or so ago and I haven't really done a wheel settings video and showed you guys what I've been using. I actually used a T300, um, not anything special but that's the way I use Frostmaster T300. Currently with the GTE rim, I used to have the F1 rim until it started messing around. Thanks Frostmaster, but um, yeah, let's get into this settings video. So these are my Frostmaster T300 settings in the Frostmaster control panel and you can see I'm running 540 degrees and yeah this is the angle that I've been running um, mainly now on a set of Corsa Competizione and I actually set it up slightly different in game. I know it sounds a little bit weird you'd think if you set it to 540 in the control panel then you would do the same thing for you know same thing in game but it just feels like understeer to me and it just doesn't actually feel that natural now the only bad thing about doing what I'm gonna do next as you'll see me going in game I've actually set my steering lock as I load up my 540 preset I set my steering lock to 880 now what I've noticed is the higher you go up the more sensitive your wheel actually gets to to your steering inputs so when I have it on 540 540 um, in game and in the control panel it's very under series so I slightly go up on the uh, steering lock in the game settings and the car seems to rotate a lot more better a lot more natural to my steering position the only negative thing is if you are someone who likes to have your hands um, visible when you're driving um, in terms of your your camera HUD settings then your your hands might be a little bit out of sync with your own steering inputs but I, I never use hands on steering wheel so it's not really something that actually affects me but you will seem to notice that when you go up on the steering lock um, in game it actually changes the sensitivity a little bit and it doesn't feel so slow and ponderous and now I'm going to show you the 900 degrees um, and this is this is how I um, had my wheel when I had it on 900 I actually changed this as well and again um, I've gone up in the game in the steering lock inside the game just to make the car feel like it's actually rotating a little bit more now this wasn't as bad visually with the hands-on wheel but it still was a little bit off now you can see I've gone up to 1160 and yeah for me the steering felt much more natural I didn't have to sort of rack my hands all the way right and all the way left as soon as I got to a, a tight corner and you might think it's a little bit weird but you got to try it out man you definitely got to try it out for me um, it definitely changed things it definitely changed things for me and I, I can tell just by watching a lot of other guys they're definitely not using 900 if they are they're not using 900 in the game because some of the steering angles I've seen going through the corners is like wow it's crazy and um, yeah definitely you guys got to try it out for me personally as I said before I always felt like the steering angle was just I don't know it was just something strange it just felt so slow and I just I struggled, really struggled to get used to it man, but I hope you guys try it out, I hope you guys like it. People if you're new to a set of course of competizione, and I know a lot of people are, and I know it's going to be coming on console very soon, 
Um, I, I'm, I'm kind of uh, intrigued to see if it's got the same sort of thing on the console because um, yeah that that would be crazy and I know for me the T300, my T300 used to be just have loads of bugs whenever I was on the console for some whatever reason for something to do with the force feedback it's just just a little bit weird but um, I'll be very intrigued to see what the game will be like and what the steering and the, the feel of the force feedback will be like on the console um, I can't wait for that to come out but when that does come out I will be probably um, making another wheel settings video um, for the for the console users just to see if I can get it to feel similar to how it feels with all the nice force feedback features on the PC and yeah I'll be trying to run that to see if I can get it up to speed and get the get the wheel feeling almost identical but um, yeah if you guys haven't tried it before man as I said before just go into your control panel if you don't know where that is just go into your your windows menu search for Frostmaster you'll see it You'll have the control panel also you probably want to update your firmware just to make sure you're up to date on that but anyway man i hope this video helped you guys out it's cryptic tmd like and subscribe hit the notification bell to catch my videos first and peace